Hello, this is Reza Rad from Radacad. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create custom size age bins that can be different in the size. Some of them can be like five years apart. Some of them can be 35 years apart. How to create that in Power BI, let's check it out. Uh, let's assume that we have a data set like this, that I have ages of customers and the sales amount that I get from uh, customers with that age. And the age is different from 35 all the way to 105. Now I want to create some aging uh, age bins that is not just, let's say, uh, five years apart for each of these or 10 years apart. It's not equal size. It is different size. For example, here you see between 35 to 40, it's five years apart, but between 50 to 60 is 10 years apart and everything above 70, which is like a 35 years apart um, category. So I want to create this, how we are going to do that. The first uh, thing uh, you need to know is you can calculate age from the um, birth date uh, of that customer. I have a different article about it. Links to all of these articles I'm mentioning is down in the description below. So here I do have actually uh, a method that I used and from that uh, using that method I used this birth date to uh, to get into the age calculation you see here. That is totally uh, explained in details how to do that in Power Query. Now let's say we have that age. How you can do this uh, binning? Uh, there are different places you can do binnings in Power BI. The first one that normally everyone looks at is uh, binning inside Power BI itself. You can right click on a field and say I want to do grouping or binning, that is using this new group option. Uh, and I explained that again in another article full in details. Um, this works fine. The problem, however, is that uh, regardless of the method you choose size of bins or number of bins, bins would be equal size. For example, if I say bin size is 10, all bins would be 10 years apart. Or if I say I want five bins, it would automatically calculate what is the bin size. You cannot say one bin is five years apart, another is 10 years or different. Uh, another method is to use DAX calculation. I would suggest using that if you want to build something dynamic, which I have explained in another article just to show you here. Uh, in this article, for example, I used how to do binning using DAX measures, which you can actually change the size of bin dynamically. Uh, and I have done that in two different articles. One is talking about changing the size of bins dynamically, another changing the count of bins. We are not going to use those approaches because in this case, I don't want to have a, uh, have a um, dynamic bins. I want to create these bins. And what is the simple way to do that? Uh, the solution is much more simpler than writing DAX statement. You can go to the Power Query using home transform data. You'll get to the Power Query. When you get to the Power Query editor, you can create a conditional column. You already see this conditional column created. To, to build that conditional column, you can go to the add column under Power Query Editor and select conditional column. Conditional column is very simple to, uh, to use. It has a lot of um, uh, powerful configuration. I have created one conditional column, which I'm going to show you here. Uh, now this conditional column, as you can see, I have called the conditional column name as age bin and I have added these conditions. My operator here is uh, is actually uh, is greater than or equal for all of these. You see it's it's the same. Then I have these conditions one by one. I choose the column here. I say for example if the age column is greater than or equal to 70 then uh, have this value showing 70 and above. If uh, else if the else part is really important because you might wonder well i want to say the next one is between 60 and 70 how can i do that you don't need to say between because the calculation would come to the second it would start always from uh, from the top you should always consider it this way it would start from the top if it is more than 70 it would be in this group it would go to the second 
expression second condition only if that person is not in the first group for example if um, age is 72 it would catch in the first group then it will be done if age is 65 it will not meet the, uh, the condition for the first one then it will go to the second one that is why these else's are here so you don't really need this between this and that uh, and then else says greater than uh, or equal to 60 which basically means that greater than equal to 60 but less than 70 because if, uh, if it was more than 70 it was already uh, meeting the first criteria and then I named them all of these here the order of these is important and you can change the order of these uh, here move them up and down and then last one if it is not one of any of these then less than 35 you can customize it exactly as you want it's quite powerful uh, graphical interface make sure uh, you work with it in details and see how it is working once you create that then the solution is is just this right you created this column you close and apply power query window and then you will have this column added in your uh, in your table and you can use that in your visualization. I have explained in details how that uh, conditional column works in another video on another blog. Go and check it out. And one last thing is that you may want to change the order of these things because uh, this is very likely to be a text field and text field normally sorted alphabetically. You may want to change the order of this. If you want to change the order of these, you need to add a new column for the order and sort this column by that, which I explained that in another video again as well. All of these articles and videos I mentioned, the link of, to them is down in the description below from my blog. I hope you enjoyed this video and this helps you in creating your age binning in Power BI. If you like this video, go ahead and subscribe into our YouTube channel. We have weekly videos on Power BI. Thank you. Thank you.